Hello everybody and welcome back to Europa where we are currently in an interesting position in that we have worked our way through our admin deficit much more quickly because of the rule change that allows us to convert military and diplomatic power into admin power. Now to be clear that's not something that's going to be happening in like future Europa series. It's just something to uh, make things a little bit less draggy here in this super late end game that we've got going on here. This is very specific to the situation that we find ourselves in. But just to reiterate, in case you missed the last episode, the rule is as follows. We are allowed to, via the console here, switch over diplomatic power and military power into admin power at a two to one ratio. That is to say, if we were to convert 195 diplomatic power, we would get, uh, hang on, I'm doing mental math, 97 and a half? Yes, we would get 97 and a half admin power. So just divide the amount that we're deducting by two, and that's the amount of admin power that we get. I feel like that's reasonably fair. It accelerates things while not feeling too broken. So that's good. Now, we were thinking about declaring another war because we're caught up on our admin deficit at this point. One thing we could certainly do, since we're able to do so, is we could boost up our stability. But I don't think we will. I think I'm perfectly comfortable chilling at one stability here. It seems just fine. We didn't have any major issues with that. So I think the plan was that we were going to fight Malacca. Hmm. Allied with Japan. That's intriguing. Because that would definitely allow us to take some of these locations over here. As well as potentially getting a toehold on mainland Japan. Which is quite important. Yeah. You're a tributary of Ming now. As are you. So we can't fight these guys without fighting Ming. They have no other alliances that we can exploit. What about Manchu? Hmm. But they're also a tributary of Ming. So that doesn't really end up working. Now Japan is supporting the independence of Tidore in Australia. We could potentially fight only Japan if we wanted to. By attacking this state here. This is an option. If we wanted to not fight Malacca at the same time. which we could then use to functionally reset our peace treaty with Japan. By declaring on Malacca, we would fight Japan and Malacca after this war, where we would take over this location here, everything in here, as well as these guys, which is convenient, and potentially a significant chunk of northern Japan. I gotta say, I rather like this plan. We might be able to take Tsushima as well. Ryukyu is actually independent, but they're a tributary of Ming. Okay, and Korea holds this out here. They're a tributary of Ming as well. Allied with Samoa. Okay, so like the broad strokes of the outline of this plan. We have 36 years left. Actually, it's 16 December. Call it 35 years left. So, not so many wars. We declare on Butuan. We take that and take all of the Japanese holdings in Philippines. We take perhaps Tsushima. We definitely take a significant portion of what used to be Ainu up over this way. And from there, we just take what we can of Japan. Then, peace breaks out. And we immediately declare on Malacca, or immediately-ish, depending on how our coring is looking. We declare on Malacca after that. Japan is allied to Malacca and will defend Malacca. So that gives us a second war against Japan in short order. We take what we can from Malacca, almost certainly not all of it, but a good chunk of Malacca plus another good chunk of Japan. Like this. Then, while those are truced, we declare on Revolutionary Tidor again. 
We take out their allies immediately and then take what we can over here, over here. If we can take everything, we do. That'd be amazing, but I kind of doubt it. They've also got quite a lot of Micronesia up here. And we take what we can from Tidor in Australia as well. But again, we're not going to be able to get all of this in one war. So that, I think, will run us pretty close to our end date. At which point we transition into Hearts of Iron, which is going to be a whole thing. <laughs> that's that's going to be real interesting. We'll go to Vic 3 if the converter is done. I, I haven't looked into it. It may or may not be. But that will be the overall idea then. And we'll go into we'll go into Vic 3 if that converter is done. And then from there to Hoi 4 if that converter is done. We're going to need both of those converters to be complete. I haven't even looked to see if they're making converters for those. But I'm assuming that they are. So that's kind of the game plan for the next like 37 years here. And then once we're in Hoi 4... We're just going to declare on basically everyone in the world simultaneously that is not part of our faction and uh, just crush our way through Ming, finish everything off in record time, and be out of here by 19, 1945. I think we can be out of here by 1945 very easily. Like, thinking about it from a Europa perspective, being done in 45 years is insane. But you have to remember, we're going to have 10 years of Hoi time, which is basically the whole game of Hoi. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I think that's super doable. Super duper doable. So that means that our first plan is to attack here. And that, of course, means that we want to move these guys over. We want to get into position for this. So let's do so. We're going to need this fleet... To be up over here. And we're going to need a three stack of units here. None of those are relevant peasants. Fantastic. Okay. So this is a solid plan. Can we get it done faster than I'm thinking? It's a possibility, especially with this slight rule change towards the end here. So I think it's potentially viable. So the invasion plan here will be to attack here and then push southward. I do think that we should move an additional three stack over here. Just in, in case, just in case. But it should be fine. And is that these guys? No, that's Tondo. Or no, that's Revolutionary Bhutan. Hilarious. Uh, Luwu, Luwu, these guys. Got it. What is this war that they're in? Okay, they're part of the Tidor Sphere of Influence. Got it. No problem there. Are we ready to declare this? Not quite. We're going to head out over here. We are arguably ready to declare it now. Arguably. I'm looking for any additional locations. Japan holds Midway Island. I would definitely like to take that. We hold Wake, of course. Rapa Nui is controlled by Japan. And the Society Islands. And Tuamodu Islands. That's controlled by Samoa, so no problem there. Okay. I'm just making plans for our peace deal, but eventually... Yeah, that's part of that tile. Got it. I, I think this is going to be good. We're going to be able to get all of these islands and essentially push Japan onto their home islands. And I'm hoping to take, at the very least, this province as well. So I think we're ready to declare this and we can get a preview of what we're going to get. 
So both of these would join. We could fight Revolutionary Tidor here as well if we wanted to. I think we don't want to. Yet. We'll get there. So we declare this. And now we take it a day. There we go. Our colonist isn't ready to go, but that's fine. We will immediately head in here. And we can see the Japanese Navy is heading northward. That's fine. No major problems there. We also want to make sure that we are attacking here and here. Cool. So for the moment, this is looking fine. Not all of these guys are here yet. These were awkwardly not force marched. There we go. We're going to move down into the Hokkaido coast. Now, this is, of course, not our first foray into Japan. We're going to head on in and start a siege. How many troops does Japan have? Noted. So we're going to move over. Ming just declared on Japan to force tributary state. That's an awkward coattail. I was under the impression that they were already truced. Because they had recently done that. But maybe I was wrong on that. It's a very awkward coattail. Of course, we're more powerful than Ming. Ming is also fighting Malacca in this. That could throw a wrench into our works. But I think it's okay. Yeah, I believe this to be fine. So we're going to embark these three units. And they are all going to come out over here. Cool. So our sieges are underway. But I wanted to take a... These guys aren't moving in. Get out here. There you go. We can also convert. I wanted to take a quick look at what we actually could take here. So, from Japan, we want all of this guaranteed. I'm just looking for anything else that they might control in this area that I didn't notice previously. Okay, I'm not seeing anything. We want to take Tsushima. If I can select it. It is very small. Okay, so that is only 7 point... Or rather, that's only 23 war score. That's not bad. So we definitely grab this. Uh, is this selected? Yes, it is. Cool. We definitely grab Rapa Nui. We grab everything over here in Micronesia. Checking through the rest of Micronesia, it looks like Japan doesn't have anything. So that is ideal. Cool. So this is our bare minimum peace deal. And then, we're going to start looking a little bit more expensive here. Ooh, that's a spicy one. I love it. It's great. We'll see how much Ming lets us get. It's going to be interesting for sure. But we're going to head down over here and start those sieges. Yeah, Japan is having some troops down over here. I do not care about these troops over near Florida. That's fine. They can do what they're going to do. We're going to walk all of these guys over as soon as we can. We'll have to take control of this straight, though. Blackfoot Separatists are irrelevant. We got a conversion success, so we will continue to convert. There we go. We're going to come in and attack the Japanese forces here. Sioux Separatists are irrelevant. Ming forces actually joined us here. Awkwardly. So we can see that there's Ming soldiers holding these areas. Which are areas that we want to take. Yeah. That's awkward for us, for sure. It's not the end of the world. But it is very, very awkward. So we're at 10% war score here. And 
I would love to take these over. Sadly, it's not going to happen. Ming joins us up here, and the question is, who is actually sieging this? Because this is actually quite important. Actually, Ming is walking. Ming is walking. So we're good. We get control here. And we would love it if Japan would take this back. Okay, how are things looking up here? We actually finished all of this. So we're going to take these guys on over. We'll leave one unit here and one unit here to cap. Beautiful. And then these guys can pile on in in a moment. Uh, we'll lose 50 mil power. That's fine. That's only functionally 25 admin power. So we'll recruit a new general and we'll bring this guy in. Pretty good siege pips there, actually. Three pips. Not the worst, not the best, but kind of middle of the road, definitionally. Okay, I think at this point, we should look to occupy these areas out here. So we're going to do so. And of course, we are occupying the North Island here. We're almost done with that. Ming is likely to attack down over this way. But that's fine. We're not too concerned about Ming. We will deal with them no problem in Hearts of Iron. But I'm kind of saving Ming for Hearts of Iron. So that'll be fine. Could we beat them in Europa? Absolutely we could. But I, I kind of want to leave at least one semi-strong enemy for Hearts of Iron. So that's, that's kind of the plan. Where is... Oh, it was this navy that it took out over here. That's awkward. I actually intended this navy to be the one to come out here. But, sure. Well, come on up. Seems okay. So, Japan isn't very interested in this anymore. I wonder why. We will take Sula. But we're not really in position to do so right now. I mean, we could attack it like so. I guess that's fine. No problem whatsoever there. And then we'll have to go after Japan proper next. Okay. So we win here and regenerate our morale a bit. This fort will fall shortly. Okay. We're out over here. Yeah. We redirected some of our fleets down over this way just to attack here. That's a temporary thing. And we finished up here. Perfect. We're going to walk on in. And then we can get these guys replenishing a bit. There we go. Go ahead and repair. We won the Battle of Sula as expected. And then we're going to bring this fleet back out over this way. They're just going to dock up for the moment. I'd like to let them repair before we come down and attack this way. So that's Samoa. Japan is over here. So we need to land here, here, and here. Cool. Should be fine. And we, of course, want to take Tsushima eventually. I mean, I'd love to take some of these islands as well. It's, it's a whole thing. We can only get so much, right? So it'll be fine. I would like to peace out Japan as soon as we can. That said, hypothetically, um, Japan is winning against Ming right now. I would like to avoid fighting the Japanese troops. Because I don't want to harm their war effort against Ming. All I want is to take their stuff. <laughs> I don't want to harm their war effort. It, it's a little weird, I know, but that's that's the case here. So we're going to have these guys come on down to here now and land on the Society Islands. Perfect. We don't care about either of those Separatists. However, we did just win this siege, which of course means that we need to piece out these guys. They would now accept this. 
And we'll get that core underway immediately. Cool. I wonder if we can get away. Oh, I clicked through that. I did not mean to. Let's go ahead and do that. There we go. I wonder if we can get away waiting out Ming's War. I don't know. I feel like that's going to be a long wait. I feel like that's going to be a quite long wait. And they actually got some gains at some point. Okay. I don't love that. This siege will be finishing up very soon. Funnily enough, we lost a lot of our troops down over here. And this is, of course, open ocean. So we're just going to dock up and let those replenish for a bit. None of those are particularly relevant, so that seems fine. And we won this siege. So we're just going to stick together here. We're probably taking horrendous attrition, but I, I think it's fine. I'm not too concerned about the attrition. Today is a day to celebrate. Let's, let's worry about attrition another day. Cool. So we're heading on down with our plus 20 prestige that went entirely to waste. And at this point, these guys have regenerated somewhat. So we're going to continue to press on through. Would Japan be willing to give us this? Actually, we could take more right now. Since we're not able to take these, we can take a little bit more up here. We could go for something like this. I love it. This is pretty good. Pretty good. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. So, how many reasons do they have to not accept this? A lot. Mostly due to war score. Unfortunately, we can't... Ooh. Oh, Japan has a 66k stack on this island. I had no idea. We got stack wiped there, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to come all the way back over here. We're going to group these three units up. And then we're going to recruit in a new template for the one that we lost. Plus one, two, and three. There we go. To replace these guys. So that'll be fine. Butuan wants peace. I'm shocked. Utterly shocked. And up over this way, we definitely want to start sieging here. Okay. So our fleet will arrive here eventually. Neither of those are actually all that relevant, but I, I went for the prestige. Or rather, I went for losing the prestige, I should say. We'll gain our prestige back. No worries on that one. Okay, where's our fleet at? It'll be here shortly. Cool. We are going to have to let it repair for a bit once it gets here. But that's fine. It has arrived. And it is chilling. So these guys are going to embark. And how are we doing on these repairs? Actually, we appear to be fully repaired or close to it. I didn't see any anything other than 100 there. So let's go. We are going to select the fleet. That would help. And then we'll head out over this way. Cool. We can convert provinces to Zoroastrian, and we'll do so. How is Japan doing in their war against Ming? Plus four. Okay. I do see these guys here. Unfortunately, we're going to have to go deal with them. I don't love it. But here we are. We're going to have to fight them. And we will win. They'll retreat. We're not we're not going for the jugular here. We're deliberately trying to not sabotage their war against me. Okay. So we're going to head on in over here. How many reasons do they have now? 190. Fair enough. Our war score with them is only 35%. It is increasing. We've not arrived out over here just yet. Although we will pretty soon.
But it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we will finish up our first war against Japan here and probably, pretty quickly, begin progress on our second. You can leave your offerings to the Engagement Gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all the channel members for making this video possible, including Casserol, JJ Gamer, ALS Gamer, Kentuin, Atala, Shadow Wolf, Jens Graham, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Video Games Are Not Real, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the Join button down below the video, and as always, I will see you all next time.